Assalamu alaikum and good morning. For a soldier, no player exceeds witnessing commissioning of smartly turned out young cadets radiating immense energies and promise for a very bright future. Today's display of professionalism and discipline demonstrates that our sons and daughters are ready like always to ensure the security, peace, progress and prosperity of this great country. You are the center of our hopes, the sentinels of our skies and the guarantors of our territorial integrity. You would be expected to live by the virtues of character, courage and competence and your conduct would mirror not only your personal ethos but also that of your revered institution. You will shed your sweat and blood for the dignity of your motherland and will never hesitate to offer the ultimate sacrifice. I would like to quote our founding father, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, whose speech at this very academy on 13th April 1948 sums up the significance and the enduring mission of Pakistan Air Force. The Qaid said, and I quote, a country without a strong air force is at the mercy of any aggressor. Pakistan must build up its own air force as quickly as possible. It must be an efficient air force, second to none." Unquote. Dear graduating cadets, on every account, Pakistan Air Force has risen beyond the expectations of the nation and defended the skies of Pakistan against all odds with unmatched valor and professionalism. It has always maintained highest standards of training and morale and is now gradually advancing towards self-reliance and indigenization. The professionalism and brilliance of Pakistan Air Force has been clearly displayed in wars against our arch rival and profoundly in February 2019 in a short but seminal engagement against the misplaced calculus of our rival who mistook our initial restraint as weakness. We shall never allow anyone to challenge our territorial integrity, sovereignty, and the security of our beloved homeland. I must also acknowledge that Pakistan Air Force deserves recognition for its immense contributions in war against terror and intimate support to the land and naval forces. Ladies and gentlemen, the respect for international norms and laws is eroding fast. Gaza war is the latest reminder of what might can bring about the human suffering and the indiscriminate killing of the elderly, women and children portends that we live in a world where violence is on the rise. Regardless of what our adversary says, another region where forces violently trampling over human rights and muzzling voices for self-determination is Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The silence of the world over Kashmir is deafening. But we will continue to extend moral, political, and diplomatic support to the people of Kashmir till the day they are empowered to exercise their right of self-determination. Today, our nation confronts multidimensional threats in the forms of terrorism, shadow proxies, challenging economic environment, despicable propaganda amplified by social media, and false narratives being spread by misguided elements of the society. I would specially urge you not to fall prey to misguided, misdirected, factually incorrect, and politically motivated propaganda. As leader of the future, you should develop a critical mind to navigate through blurring lines between reality, perceptions, and patent falsehood. Always remember, Right is might, and not that might is right. Fight and never cover before coercion, blackmail, or terror. Dear cadets, Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, White Article 19, has unambiguously drawn the limits to the freedom of expression and speech, which must not be misconstrued as freedom of expression of venom against others. Hence, those who blatantly trample the same very constitution on daily basis in one way or the other cannot 
and should not issue sermons to others for its adherence. We know our constitutional limits very well and expect from others to also know them well. Dear mentors, guardians and cadets, I commend you on this day, particularly the cadets who have put up an immaculate display. I pray and hope that you would uphold the glorious traditions of self-sacrifice, supreme confidence, and professional excellence that have been the hallmark of Pakistan Air Force. Amongst you, I see the aces of tomorrow who would be our pride and our wings of hope. Be the likes of Rashid Minhas, Sarfraz Rafiki, and M.M. Alam, and those who have rendered their services and lives toward preserving the prestige of our beloved country. Stay committed to the responsibility being assigned to you and be loyal to the state of Pakistan always under all circumstances. If Allah helps you, no one can overcome you. May Allah Almighty grant you the well and the skill to defy gravity and leap towards greatness. Ameen. Pakistan Air Force, Zindabad, Pakistan, Pindabad.